Yesterday we learned how to divide decimals and you took notes over that, or at least you should have. So if you did not take notes or you were not here yesterday, make sure you go back to yesterday's lesson in Google Classroom and there are notes on how to divide decimals. So this is just going to be a review of what we put in our notebooks yesterday. So the first thing we put yesterday was that the number that is first goes in the little house division symbol. So 7.35 is first, it goes inside, and then 0 0.5 is second, it goes outside. And then we learned a strategy called slide, slide, raise the roof. So the first slide is you can't have a decimal in your divisor. The divisor is this number on the outside. So we have to move that decimal over to the right. So we slide it to the right until it becomes a whole number. Step two is another slide. So you take this decimal in the dividend and whatever we did to the one in the divisor, we do the same thing to the dividend. So that's the slide, slide part. If I had had to move this one two times, I would move this one two times, but I only had to move it one time, so that's why I only moved one time. Raise the roof is where we put the decimal, the new decimal point, up on the top of the house. You could go ahead and divide at this point, but it could be helpful to rewrite the problem so that you don't have all of this mess here. So again, we now have five on the outside because we moved that decimal point. And instead of 7.35 on the inside, we have 73.5. And don't forget about your decimal up on top. And then we just divide. Remember your steps for division are divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So we wanna see how many times five goes into seven and it goes in one time, then we multiply. Five times one is five, then we subtract. Seven minus five is two, and then we bring down. We bring down this three. Then you start the process over again. So now we wanna see how many times five goes into 23. If you count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 is too much because we had 23. So it was only went in four times. Multiply, five times four gives me 20. Subtract, 23 minus 20 is three. And then bring down. Again, we start that process again. Divide, how many times does five go into 35? It goes in seven times. Multiply, five times seven is 35. Subtract. We get zero. We know we're done when we get a place uh, a remainder of zero. So our answer here is 14.7. If you did not do slide, slide, raise the roof, you might get 147, you might get 1.47, but all of those are wrong. So you need to get 14.7.